What is up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Glamora slash Volcarona slash Water Tauros team. I'm not really sure who the star of this team is, there's a lot of cool Pokemon on it. Uh, but this team was made by Mr. Kurtastic, thank you very much Mr. Kurtastic. This team actually appeared on one of my recent videos, I think it was my Sylveon video, because I ran into Mr. Kurtastic playing this team on the casual ladder, and then I asked him to post it as a rental code, and then I got the rental code, and now I'm bringing it to you. Uh, but basically, I really wanted to run Glamora, because this thing can do some damage. With Power Herb and Meteor Beam, you get the plus one special attack, and then launch a powerful Meteor Beam in one turn off of an enormous special attack with Stab for the Rock type move on top of that. So it can just blow something up. So, of course, you put it next to this Prankster Tailwind. Murkrow also, with having Prankster Tailwind and Prankster Haze, goes well with this Golden Go. Choice Specs, Terra Steel. Mr. Kurtastic made this Golden Go max speed, which is really nice in certain matchups, just knowing you're faster than the opponent. It makes things a lot easier. But basically what you can do is you can Terra Steel make it rain, behind Tailwind, and then Haze away, because Haze works on Golden Go for some reason. The rest of this team, a little Firewater Grass Core of Rillaboom, you know Rillaboom. Volcarona, with a very interesting defensive and offensive set. It can boost with Quiver Dance and sweep with Fiery Dance, or it can lower the attack with Will-O-Wisp or special attack with Struggle Bug of the opponents. Uh, and then Tauros here, Water Tauros. It hits pretty hard. It's just max attack, max speed. It's just, it's just if Urshifu had Intimidate and was worse in every other way. Uh, but it's rocking the clear amulet, Raging Bull, which breaks screens and turns into a water move on this Tauros. Close Combat Aqua Jet Protect, just a good set for Tauros. But anyways, I hope you're excited for this team, because I'm excited for this team. Let's jump into it. Okay, Wheezy. Ooh, Pelipper Archaladon, along with Rillaboom, Incineroar, Grimmsnarl, and Dragonite. This is a scary team. What are my answers into Archaladon? I've got a Close Combat with his name on it. Volcarona can do some stuff, weaken it with Struggle Bug. Don't have Sunny Day, but I do have Haze to get rid of all of its boosts. Golden Go ain't bad either. Just throwing Shadow Balls. Being immune to Fake Outs. Pretty nice. Uh, Glamora has Earth Power as well. Okay. Tauros' problem would be getting Electroshotted. We've got Terra. Fire, and we could probably take one. Volcarona's Terra is water. This is a really hard matchup. I'm, I'm not sure the right way to go about it. I like Glamora. Maybe Glamora Murkrow. Maybe just Glamora and Goldango, just threaten as much as I can with Tauros and Rillaboom in the back. Okay. I got it in. I don't know if it's the right play. I picked Rillaboom last second, and I don't know. Because, like, Murkrow, Volcarona... That's a trainer card. Murkrow, Volcarona, Rillaboom, I wasn't really sure about any of them. Incin Dragonite. Not what I expected at all, but fine to see it. Spiky Shield. Maybe a swap to Watoros. We can see the ability on Dragonite. We can see a Terra on Dragonite. We can see if it locks into a move. Uh, Watoros can take anything from Incineroar. I don't feel a strong need to risk a Golden Go here. Like, I could throw a Trick or a Power Gem at Incin or something, but... I'm gonna bring in Water Tauros. Worst case is, like, they knock off Tauros and double into that slot while having Inner Focus. Like, just reading the Protect from Lumora. Clear Amulet Dragonite. Okay, so it's multi-scale. Interesting. They did not Terra. And they Ice Spinner. And knock off our Clear Amulet. Alright. 
Gotcha. Ice Spinner to cover for Dragon Terra, I believe. Alright, if I Meteor Beam into your Dragonite... You could bring in Archaladon. But, if you bring in Archaladon, I could close combat you. And I don't think Incineroar is a threat right here. I think it's going to try to Parting Shot out or just Hard Swap. So I'm going to lock Close Combat Meteor Beam into Dragonite. I think one way or another that gets me a KO. I think anything you swap in with that dual double up is going to be a problem. And if it's just a Terra Normal Dragonite? Oh, it's Terra on Incin! Into Grass! That's interesting. Just trying to live a hit from Tauros, I guess. Or Meteor Beam, even. Alright, close combat, break that multi scale. So we can get that Dragonite out of here. Hopefully, it doesn't like, outspeed and stomping tantrum. Yes, we got it. Perfect. We know it's clear aimed, so it's not locked in. So that could have been like something if it was faster. But nope, we get it. We get the Meteor Beam. And Dragonite's out of here. Perfect. That's amazing. Now let's see what Incense going for. It's Will Wisp into Taurus. Okay. Could have been better. Could have been worse. I'm, this is okay. I like the position we're in because now we threaten with Sludge Bomb. Uh, they also. I mean, they have our Chaladon most likely. If they're, if they're focusing down, if they're committing all those resources to burning us, yeah, they definitely have our Chaladon. I think I want to get a free turn for Glamora, so I want to Spiky Shield and bring in Rillaboom. That way I can then fake out and get a free turn with Glamora without getting Weather Ball. I'm also wondering if I should just go into Gold Dango and Spiky Shield. Yeah, because if I Spiky Shield and bring in Gold Dango, I trap in their Ensign because I feel like they want a parting shot here. So I feel like this is actually a pretty decent play. Now if they just hard swap the Ensign, that's fine too, I guess. Oh, it's a shiny golden gun. Okay, good. Ensign's gonna stay on the field. Maybe they go read that and go for knockoff, though. Hurricane. Into oh, they're trying to read Terra there. Okay, we got him on the parting shot at least. Nope, it was into Glamora. Well, we still kind of did then. They definitely have our Chaladon last. They are so scared of this Glamora. No way would he tear a grass when I, he saw that I just clicked Hurricane. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna Terra Sludge Bomb Pelipper. I'm gonna Terra Sludge Bomb Incineroar. And Shadow Ball the Pelipper. You swap in our Chaladon now? Yeah! Oh, come on! Uh, we know our Golden Go should be faster than the Pelipper. They're probably Sash, though. So if they get the Hurricane Reed right this turn, I think we're in a little bit of trouble. But otherwise, I think we're alright. Here's Shadow Ball. We knew we were faster there. Pelipper's gone. Not Sash. Beautiful. Sludge Bomb is wasted, sure. <laughs> Yeah. 
I question whether they're actually going to fake out Glamora. Spiky shield, I've, I've spiky shielded every time I could in this game. I think they're going to expect it again. So I'm just going to click Earth Power and Archaladon. And since I'm locked into Shadow Ball, I'll also Shadow Ball Archaladon. It's not a fake out. Let's go. Let's go. There's no way Archaladon's going to knock out Glamora before we get this Earth Power off. And we're faster anyway. Ooh, it lives. Hang on. That's scary. <laughs> I thought that double up would do it, but that thing got snarled, apparently. Okay. I don't hate that. And a knockoff on Golden? Bye, Golden Go. Get out of the way. Make room for something better. Cool. Oh, I love that. Uh, I'm going to not put Rillaboom in, because I don't want to start healing that Archaladon. I'm going to go into Watoros. Actually, our Chaladon is almost guaranteed to be a Salt Vest, so the Earth Power into it is actually totally free. So yeah, I will just Earth Power into it. I, I, I was I was overthinking. I'll Earth Power our Chaladon. That should be completely free. And then just start chipping away at this instant with close combat. Battle is cancelled. Yep, they see the writing is on the wall. Good job, Glamora. Let's go. Let's go. Everyone put in some work there. Let's go. Hey there, Sandra. You've got almost a Regulation H team. I'll count it. Uh, just Iron Valiant is not legal. Milotic, Galvantula, Tyranitar Excadrill, and Flapple. Not Flapple. Hydrapple. That one. Those are all legal. So this might have been an attempt uh, that went a little astray. All good. Water Toro seems... Oh, goodness. But then there's Milotic to take competitive off of my Intimidate. I think Tauros in the back is fine. Rillaboom is also good into Tyranitar Excadrill, except it'll get Terra Blasted. Golden Go is a problem. Golden Go is not good into Excadrill, and we don't have any way to change our typing. We, and even if we could go faster with, with Murkrow, which we can, we can't really hit it. Tauros, Rillaboom, Murkrow. I think I want to lead Glamora. Glamora, Murkrow, Rillaboom, Tauros? Or what about Glamora, Rillaboom, Tauros? And then Golden Go anyway? It's not Volk. Uh, I am going to put Crow. I'm not 100% certain about the Murkrow. Like, I don't know how much the speed control is going to be important. And they at least have a trainer card. But we'll see, we'll see. Titar Excadrill is the lead. Alright, I can bring in Watoros. Or I can just fake something out. Or I can do both. number of good options here. I could tear a grass to cover a ground move. I could just fake out Earth Power into Excadrill. I'll think I think I want to fake out T-Tar. Terra Grass, Earth Power, Excadrill. Fake out Tyranitar, because I'm worried about Tyranitar having flying Terra Blast for my Rillaboom. And then Glamora going Terra Grass will cover it from any hit from Excadrill. Okay, they are bur burning a Terra. It's on Excadrill, though. Into Steel. Ooh, they're going to try to do some damage with Steel moves, aren't they? Or they're just trying to resist Rillaboom's hit. It could be either way. I could see this being an Iron Head into Glamora, which, if it's like Life Orb Booster or something, might KO. I don't know. Maybe I should have just brought in Tauros. There's a good chance Excadrill just clear Amulet, though. Alright, we crit the fake out onto Titar. Nice. And it's Smart Strike. Oh, it's not even Iron Head. 
And it crits, and it doesn't do enough. Okay, yeah, Iron Head wasn't going to KO us anyway. Smart Strike, that's interesting. It's a little bit weaker than Iron Head, but it can't miss. So, like, maybe that's your Excadrill Muck answer. Not your Excadrill. Your Excadrill is, like, your minimized Muck answer. But it didn't do that much damage, so I'm thinking maybe you're... You're not a boosting item, I don't think. Okay, maybe we can... Just grassy glide the Excadrill now. Take it out there. Or I could just swap in Water Tauros. If they go for a hit on Glamora, they're just gonna... I could just Spiky Shield, honestly. Yeah, I think I'll Spiky Shield with Glamora. Do some chip to the Excadrill that way. And Woodhammer, try to delete Tyranitar. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. Spiky Shield, Smart Strike into Glamora again, perfect. I don't think you're choice. You, did, you didn't do with as much damage as I expected. We are faster than T-Tar, which is good. Wood Hammer, goodbye Tyranitar. And I should have known that speed interaction already from the grass and sand being set, but I wasn't paying attention. But Tyranitar would have to be really fast to catch this Rillaboom. So I just assumed I was faster. Excadrill gets some health back, no big deal. Probably in Grassy Glide range. And so far I haven't needed... Okay, here's Iron Valiant. Yeah, that's the thing you're not supposed to bring. But at least it's poison. I like that. And Booster Energy, which stat? Because I guess we are playing against this. It's attack, that's a little scary. Nothing Water Tauros can't handle. Well, it is something, because fairy moves are really bad against the rest of this team. Uh, but I'll bring in Tauros to intimidate it, and just Grassy Glide the Excadrill. Make sure that doesn't do anything. I'm assuming it's Clear Amulet on Excadrill. Because it's not doing any, like, boosted damage. No, I wonder what it is on Excadrill then. Sash, maybe? All right, we take it out with Glide. Good. I don't know. All right, Valiant, what do you got? Drain Punch. Oh, a critical hit on Rillaboom. Intimidate means nothing if you just critical hit my Rillaboom. Don't like that one bit. All right, but I have Glamora still. Glad I saved that. Uh, I should get Tailwind up, and then try to get Glamora back in. Yeah, because Glamora should outspeed that, and it is my Lottic last. Cool. At least I didn't intimidate it. A poisoned my Lottic is awesome. Love to see that. Uh, my Lottic can't touch Watoros usually, unless it has like a luring voice. So we should be good to just... I think I'll Raging Bull the Iron Valiant and set Tailwind here. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, no protects. We get Tailwind up. We get some damage with Raging Bull. Does about half. Spirit Break into Tauros. That shouldn't do too much, right? No, uh, no, it KOs us. With another critical hit! Oh no! <laughs> it's a crit machine! And they light screen with Milotic? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Sand, coming in clutch. Murkrow got hit before Iron Valiant. Our Murkrow is faster than Iron Valiant. We can Brave Bird and finish that off. Oh no, oh my. Light screen on my Lottic, too. Is this grass gone yet? No. Alright, here's Glamora. I think my Lottic's gonna hit Glamora, so I kinda wanna protect. The last turn of grass and sand. But we should spiky shield. I mean, poison is doing 
damage to my Lotic over time, so that's good. And I'll just Brave Bird to finish off Valiant. I think it just kept critting me. It's not beating me because it's a banned Pokemon, it's beating me because they're getting lucky. <laughs> okay, Valiant going down, perfect. Alright, goes down to Brave Bird, and my Lotic goes with... Ice Beam into Glamora, perfect. Uh, they have Ice Beam, that's not perfect. I don't love that they have Ice Beam. Sandstorm subsided. We get a little bit of health back with Grass. That's weird how, like, the last turn of grass, you get healing, but the last turn of sand, you don't take chip. Alright, well, I guess there's no reason not to just throw Meteor Beam at this Milotic. And I will also taunt the Milotic. Can't have it going for recover or anything crazy like that this turn. They'll probably just Ice Beam Glamora, and then if we don't do enough with Meteor Beam, which behind Light Screen we might not, we might just lose to this Milotic. We might just Ice Beam, Ice Beam, Ice Beam. Gone, gone, gone. Alright, Meteor Beam connects at least. How much? A lot. There's Ice Beam into Glamora for the KO. Didn't seem to be Citrus Berry. I hope it's not Pinch Berry. I think it's probably in range. I think a Brave Bird can do it. My fear is that Brave Bird puts me in Ice Beam range. So I'm wondering if I should hold the Brave Bird. Oh, we've got a lot of special defense. I think we'll be fine even after a little bit of Brave Bird recoil. And it's enough anyway. Let's go, Murkrow. Yeah. All right. Murkrow. Kurt Crow it is. Finishing the game. That was a fun team. All right, GG, Sandra. Okay, we've got, ooh, good. A Regulation H team. Talonflame and Farigarap. Uh, with Volcarona, Golden Go, Rillaboom, and Primarina. That's a scary team. We both got Volcarona. I don't know if Volcaro is Volcarona good here? Terra Water. So we either s be weak to Primarina and Talonflame, or we switch to being weak to Rillaboom. Not great. I like Glamora here a lot. Pretty much everything on their side of the field can get poisoned. Except like Talonflame and Golden Go, but Talonflame's gonna be a lead. Golden Go could come. Uh, our Golden Go, not great. Uh, Talonflame and Volcarona threaten it pretty severely. Except we have Power Gem. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, that's it. Power Gem, Golden Go is the way through this. Because Volcarona is not going to, like, Terra in front of a Golden Go. So we can just Tailwind Power Gem them. The one problem is we would stay weak to fire because we have Terra Steel. So that might be a little scary. Uh, then answers to Primarina. It's only Rillaboom, honestly. We have to bring Rillaboom or we can't handle Primarina. And then it's either Volcarona to, to answer their Golden Go or Glamora just to do big damage. I think it's Volcarona. Yeah. Volcarona has a lot of good things it can do, if it can boost up with Quiver Dance, or if it can Struggle Bug, just weakening a lot of their special attackers. It's good against Rillaboom, especially if we can bring it in on like a Fake Out or a Grassy Glide and get a Burn Off. Oh, they've got Poplio in their card! That's in a great pose. That's that's a good card. I like it. You get an A. You, you win the day. Oh, juicy! Juicy. All right. Power Gem, the Volcarona, and Tailwind. There's no other play here. And if they... I don't know. I mean, they're gonna Tailwind as well. Volcarona isn't often that fast. They might be slower than us. And they didn't Terrastalize. They did Heat Wave, though. But we eat it. I will take that trade. Yeah, get out of here, Volcarona. You were a threat, and now you are gone. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Uh, it is rough that they went for an attack. I did not expect them to go straight for Heat Wave turn one. 
And now here's their golden go. Uh, I'm gonna throw a power gem over at their talon flame, or at least try to. But really, I just want to get a free into my Volcarona when their talent flame is no more. Uh, I would like to power gem. I am the faster Golden Go, a max speed Golden Go. But their talent flame could just move first if it has Flare Blitz and take out our Golden Go. And all I really have to do here is Brave Bird, so I'm gonna Brave Bird their talent flame. Okay, they do have Flare Blitz. That's really rough. <laughs> Alright, but what's this Golden Go do? It's Thunderbolt! Yikes! <laughs> Don't love that. Alright. Oh yeah, this is good. This is a tough position. Another Life Orb Golden Go, too. Okay. I, if I had to guess, I would guess it's Covert Cloak on their Talon Flame. So Fake Out into Talon Flame isn't going to work out. I think the Golden Go would either Terra or Protect. Meaning I can be safe from it if I click Fake Out into that slot. <laughs> Try to like Terra and get up a quiver dance. So I think I will do that, even though it's a weird play. I, I'm way behind. I need to make some play here. And I'll Terra Water Quiver Dance the Volk. Quiver Dance should make me faster than Talon Flame. I guess it depends on investment on this Volcarona. I should have checked that first. But I'm gonna need some more power to sleep through as well. Okay, they just attack with Golden Go. There's a Brave Bird into Volcarona, does a lot of damage. But we have a Citrus Berry. And we get our Quiver Dance, okay. a Shadow Ball as well in the Volcarona. Oof. Taking a lot of damage. Hopefully they read a Protect from Volcarona, but we don't have that. I will Wood Hammer now into their Golden Go. And Fiery Dance their Talon Flame. I think their Talon Flame can do a little more damage to us here. Here's a Terra. Likely from their Golden Go. I'm hoping they're just covering for Terra on for Protect on Volcarona. Like if I hope they're just covering for Volcarona attacking, but they don't think it will. Yeah, they Brave Bird into Rillaboom. We should eat. We do. That's great. We get to take out the Talon Flame. We were still slower than the Talon Flame, which is kind of rough. But I'm not sure if we were gonna KO it there anyway. Can we get a boost, at least? Well, and a Thunderbolt. That's game. Alright. GG's. Oof. Did not have it in us there. Alright. Well, let's see what your fourth Pokemon was. Or are we even going to be able to? Are we going to take ourselves out from recoil? No, we'll get to see what their fourth was. See if Volcarona had a shot if we had gotten that read right. Tailwind is gone on both ends. Oof. Ping the sociable. Their own Rillaboom. You know, Volcarona had a real good shot against what they brought, if I'm being honest. But the Thunderbolt versus our Terra Water, that's rough. And the Rillaboom versus our Terra Water, yeah, Terra Water. Mm. Terra Water sunk us. 
We, we couldn't Terra Water defensively and keep our original typing defensively at the same time. Alright, GG's. Volcarona was not the call. Well played. Alright, Alex, what do you got? Ooh, cooking! Mono Flying Team! Altaria, Corviknight, Gyarados, Staraptor, Gliscor, and Dragonite. What do I have that's super effective on flying? Just Meteor Beam. I guess I have Power Gem Golden Go. I've got three flying weaknesses on this team, I'm now realizing. Uh, but a lot of those don't even have flying. Well, Gyarados doesn't really have flying moves. Meteor Beam plus Murkrow sounds really good. They've got multiple Tailwind options. They've got Intimidate, Spam, Galore. Watoros doesn't really care. Golden Go seems alright behind Tailwind. Uh, I would mostly be worried about the Corviknight. In fact, I'm really worried about the Corviknight in general. What do I have for that? Just Volcarona? Basically. I guess Golden Go's not that into it defensively. Just start throwing Shadow Balls in the endgame. Oh yeah, Golden Go Volcarona seems good. I've got a couple Intimidate immunities, but not everything can be. So I'm wondering if Watoros is better than Golden Go, but no, I think I want Golden Go and Volcarona. Just for the Corviknight, really. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with, because I, after I Meteor Beam, hopefully delete one thing, then I can spam Sludge Bomb into most of their team. Earth Power is completely useless. That's an interesting card. Was that a Blood Moon Bear on the right? <laughs> Staraptor and Corviknight, flapping their wings in unison. Nope, not quite in unison anymore. No Intimidate. Oh, it's a Reckless Staraptor. Yikes. Okay. Would I be faster than a Staraptor? 118 times 2. 167 times 1.5. 250. 252 over 2, 126 we would need to outspeed Scarf Star after. Yikes. Well, I'm gonna Meteor Beam. And I guess it's at the Star after. And I'm wondering if I should taunt the Corviknight instead of Tailwinding. Because I can get my Tailwind second if I can stop theirs here. Don't think Murkrow's in too much danger. Yeah. And there's all, and I think there's a good chance that the Corviknight... Uh, that the Star Raptor Scarf, I mean. Yeah, especially when they click U-turn. That's fine. You have nothing in the back that resists Rot. Best bet would be, like, what? Kill score? But even that's gonna take a big chunk. Dragonite. I like to see that. I guess Multi-Scale could save it. All right, let's charge up the blasting move. I wonder if I want to try to pull off two of these in this game. <laughs> that sounds crazy, right? But maybe, if I get the positioning for it. Boom. Not boom. And it's weakness policy, of course. Oh boy. And body press. Ouch. Alright, well I can't touch Corviknight with Glamora, so I'm gonna Sludge Bomb the Dragonite. And I think I need to burn Terra Ghost... ...on the Murkrow. Though I kinda wanna save it for Volcarona. Let's see, a Dragonite neutrally would be 80, it would be 100 speed, or 118 on Glamora. Sludge Bomb, D-Knight. I do want to save Terra for Volcarona, so I think I need to swap into Golden Go hard here. And this is very risky. There is a chance Dragonite just outspeeds Glamora here, if they're fast. Because Dragonite can hit 132 while being adamant, if it's like 252. I don't think anyone would run a dr Jolly Dragonite, but I mean, you still never know. <laughs> But Golden Go will definitely be faster. Oh, there goes 
the Corviknight. Like to see that. Into Altaria. We know you're full team. Cool. Extreme speed. Yes, good call. Yeah, I figured it would be extreme speed there. Excellent. I didn't expect the Corviknight to swap out, but I guess if they're an Iron Defense Body Press set, they felt they couldn't do anything. Especially if their coverage move is Brave Bird. Like Brave Bird Body Press. Because if they had Iron Head, they could have just hit Glamora. And here's Corviknight again. Okay. I love my Sludge Bomb into Altaria. And they have Star Raptor. Okay, I should be faster than Corviknight. I can trick it my specs. I don't think I want my specs in this game. Because I should be faster. And I'll Sludge Bomb the Altaria. I don't expect that to KO. But tricking the Corviknight would be nice. Yes, we're the fastest. Where's the max speed Golden Go? We should be faster than everything here. Yep, take your specs. Give me Rocky Helmet. I'll take it. I don't mind that. Ooh, half to Altaria. Nice. They fire spin Golden Go. That's fine. Chip damage is annoying, but you can't trap a ghost, so. And you're locked into Iron Defense. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, uh, and they're leftovers. Oh, Sludge Bomb might not be enough. Uh, but I think a Make It Rain here is fine. Or maybe a Power Gem expecting Star Raptor to come in. Sludge Bomb Altaria. Yeah, I'll Make It Rain. If Sludge... Yeah, I think Star Raptor's coming in and I want to hit it with a Make It Rain. Oh, it didn't come in. They're going to stay in with the, uh, with the Cor Corviknight? Corviknight, you have to click Iron Defense forever. Okay! You're locked in Iron Defense Cool, we only have one Pokemon to fight. Nice! I mean, I guess if you swapped, then you would have just Specs Corviknight, but this way you have just Star Raptor, and I guess just Star Raptor has a better shot than just Specs Corviknight, but neither has a good shot. So let's Sludge Bomb, and let's... Power gem. Battle is cancelled. GG. Respect for bringing the mono flying team, even though it didn't work out. Okay, we've got some cool stuff over there. They've got Golurk, Zork, the original Zork, Umbreon, Lycanroc, Midnight Form, Glaceon, and Grimmsnarl. Okay, they're cooking. They are absolutely cooking, and those are some cool mons too. Not a whole lot that wants to take a Make It Rain, though. So it's Tailwind Make It Rain. Yeah. They do have a couple Dark Types. They have a lot of Dark Types, actually. So they've got offense against it, but if we just Terra Steel, then the only real threatening thing is the Golurk, which won't appreciate, like, a foul play. Uh, if Golurk is a problem, I think Watoros could be good. They've also got a lot of fighting weaknesses. Watoros hits like five of those Pokemon super effectively, and then Grimmsnarl it can break the screens up. So Watoros is perfect. And then I don't know, Glamora can do big damage. Volcarona could do big damage. I also just noticed the Lichen Rock, they forgot to level up to 50. It's level 45. Hopefully they don't bring that. Hopefully they notice. Um <laughs> I really want to throw a Meteor Beam. I, I love Glamora. Glamora is what attracted me to this team, so... Putting that last. This should work. This should work. They're... I mean, they're not super weak to Hyper Offense, but Hyper Offense can put a big dent in them right away. Uh, like, Umbreon behind screens is obviously going to take... Oh, they don't have a Trainer card either. Ooh. Yeah, Umbreon behind screens could be a problem. That's why we got Tauros to help get rid of those screens. Oh, they brought Lycanroc. Mm, they didn't notice. Well, a level 45 Lycanroc and a level 50 Lycanroc, they're still gonna not like a Steel Make It Rain. So I'm gonna click that. Um, my question is, what's that Lycanroc's form's speed? 
Midnight Lycanroc is only 82, so actually max speed Golden Go is faster. And we are a max speed Golden Go, so I'm gonna go Terra Steel, make it rain, and oh, we don't have Foul Play, we have Brave Bird. Well, hopefully that's enough to finish off Golurk. I, I'm used to Foul Play on Murkrow, this is a Brave Bird one. Which is good into some targets, but into Golurk specifically, Foul Play would've been great. I think it'll still be in range. Uh, Make It Rain might KO it on its own. I mean, this is a crazy Pokemon. Uh, we're just not max special attack. Okay, a defensive Terra most likely. Onto the Golurk. Show me like grass or something. Dark? Oh, they were thinking foul play too, but no, I don't even have foul play, okay. Uh, hopefully the double up takes them. It might not, I don't know. It depends on their investment in Golurk. And also, I don't usually see Golurk. No, it just goes down to make it rain. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, because it was a Zorok the whole time. A Zorok that was slower than Golden. And wasn't sashed. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but, I mean, if it works, it works. And we reveal Brave Bird. Huh. Well, we know they have Golurk, we know they don't have Terra. If they got nothing slower, I can just haze make it rain. Give Raleigh is a Glaceon. Ooh, and they don't have Terra. That's slower than Golden Go. And that, I believe, is slower than Golden Go. So yeah, we're gonna make it rain and we're gonna haze. The one status move that actually works on Golden Go for some reason. What? Why did the camera just zoom into Golurk? That was weird. Did you... Was that weird to you, what the camera just did on that goal? That, that felt weird. That didn't feel normal. I don't think it normally does that angle. Maybe it's just because Golurk is a weird height. And that gets the KO. Well, that wasn't the most exciting battle, but it shows the power of this duo. These two Pokemon together, that's what they do. And it works. So fear this combo. If you don't respect the combo in this combo in Team Builder, you're gonna get cooked like that. All right, we are back. I hope you enjoyed those games. Volcarona unfortunately didn't get to do much, but I really liked what Glamora could do. Uh, Tauros did okay too. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoy the team. There's the rental code in the corner. Go ahead and try it yourself. It's a really nice, strong, balanced core. Uh, it doesn't have too many weaknesses. Like, sure, the Talonflame got me, but if I had just led Glamora there, I would have been totally set. That was on me. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.